thank you all for um, coming and for doing this. Um, we're gonna start with Nanny Miss Monique first with um, her digital presentation um, because we all know that everything is evolving and changing and we are moving away from the paper to the digital world. So everybody is talking about digitalizing their portfolio. And I know you've been working really hard on this and I just wanna give you the platform to explain to people how this is really done. Thank you, Kim. So my name is Monique Dupree, known as Nanny Miss Monique on Instagram and Facebook. Um, my current work right now, I make promotional videos and digital portfolios for nannies or anybody in their career. Um, right now, I'm also a literacy advocate and I interview authors, illustrators, about their work. I also talked to publishing companies as well. Um, so what made me start to make resumes for nannies? Well, I always had really, really detailed resumes, very detailed. And my resumes were always really creative and beautiful. And it's always important to have a portfolio with everything that you've ever done as a nanny. Sometimes they say less is more with the resume. And I feel like that's the opposite for nannies. I think more is more, right? <laughs> it's so important to put everything in there. Um, so somebody asked me, they saw my resume and they said, can I, can you please help me with my resume? I said, sure. And it was a uh, uh, an early childhood educator. She had her degree in early childhood education. She also worked in preschool. She also worked as a camp counselor, a newborn care specialist. And she had a basic resume. And I said, you know what? You need to add more to your resume. Um, so what we're doing here is I section out the resumes for the nannies. So I ask you, what have you been doing? And we put all of your credentials and section them into little groups here. Um, so for instance, if you are a, if you are a previous teacher, maybe you should put all of your lesson plans in your digital portfolio. Maybe not all of them, but a few lesson plans. The more you put, your family is gonna say, maybe this nanny is the right fit for me. You're looking for that family to say, you know what, there's a lot of information on here. I think I know exactly who you are because you want that family to know who you are as a person when you're handing them that digital portfolio. Um, so, oh, so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, so the benefit to this is what I do for nannies, it, I'm making a beautiful digital, digital portfolio. Can you show them? Um, sure. I'm going to show you an example of one, and some of you may know this person. <laughs> this is a is a resume I've done for someone. I I blocked out a lot of this the information just to protect herself. Um, so let me find it up quick. Sure, no problem. It was on the screen right here. Yes. Yeah, so right there in the PDF. All right. This is Ashley. She is a travel nanny. So. I put her professional summary, you know, that's just like introducing yourself. I put her contact information in there. On the right side, you see her education and her a small little peak of her certifications. Underneath is her experience with all the different things that she's done, uh, her present family, her uh, experience as a substitute teacher. She also was an intern and she was assistant at a preschool. So I put all that information. We're just letting the family know your ex her experience. If you could scroll down a little bit more. Um, all right. And then I put her other experience that isn't so relevant to uh, you know, to her nanny situation right now. So she was a manager at Burger and Fries, but I want to put that on there because manager experience is good. She may be a household manager one day. So managing is, is good to put on your resume. She also was a teacher. Um, if you could scroll down just a little bit more, I put her skills uh, and also um, anything that she's done. 
So meal preparation, car travel, airplane travel, field trips, you know, these are, this is, you want to put everything on here. So this is the little exciting thing about a digital portfolio that I can make for you. I customize it. So this is a design that I have created. My husband and I, he's a graphic designer. Um, I want you to have professional pictures. I want you to tell me like what colors, um, you know, you would like in your resume. Like I, I really try to customize it and make it as niche as possible to what you are doing. And you see that little QR code down there? The employer can take their phone and scan that. And I have made a customized video for her. So it's basically a two minute video that is, it's, a, it's a little commercial, it's a promotional video that's promoting her. And how lovely is that? You know, especially in this day in COVID where people aren't having, um, you know, sit down interviews right off the bat, you're gonna get their resume first. And then you could just see her in action because it's, it's, it's literally like a two minute commercial just for you. Um, scroll down just a little bit more. So I put her certificates on there. So she has her first aid. I always put these front and center. I, um, I scan them, I put them on the resume. I have them, they look beautiful this way. Um, you can scroll down a little bit more her certifications, all the, um, any kind of seminars you've ever done. It's so important to put everything that you've done. And parents are impressed by this. They really, really are. Um, so as you can see, she's taken, she has a lot of certifications here. Um, I've had someone have at like at least like 10 pages of certifications. So I really think it's okay to do that. Um, you can keep on going down. That's the end. Okay, that's the end. So then I want to show the video that we have for Ashley. So if you go to the YouTube and can anyone, can we hear it too? Let's see. You've decided it's time to trust a passionate professional to care for you your Harry, child right? and become an extended member of your family. The bond between children and their nanny is special and forms a foundation of their development, learning, and growth. And just how do children develop? How do they learn? How do they grow? What a big world for your child to discover. Let's get out and explore, developing our muscles and senses. Let's play and have fun together learning new games, new sounds, new surroundings. Let's exercise and create healthy eating habits so we're growing smarter and stronger every day. Yes, it is a big world and you'll need someone who can go where the journey takes you and your family. Someone who is reliable, vibrant, and invested in your child's future. That someone is Ashley. Thank you for showing that. Um, so You've just this is what I do. I make these professional digital resumes with QR code. Um, I've even done some for lawyers, um, accountants. I'm kind of branching out now because people have seen them. They're like, oh, this is great. Can you make one for me? And I'm like, absolutely, absolutely. I have many different styles. You know, we can look at some digital resumes and portfolios and kind of like make it just niche for you. So if you want it to be really focused on something, I can definitely focus on that. Um, also, Ashley had a link on her resume, which was a photo gallery. So she also has, she's really into crafts and all the fun things she's done with her kids. So there was also a link on, not on this resume, this is this was like a mock resume that I showed you, but on her real resume, there was a little bit more information and there's a link you click on the link, all the projects that she's ever done with her nanny kids are all saved. So what I want to tell the nannies out there, make sure that you're documenting everything that you do. Seriously, everything that you do. If you are taking the kids on field trips, if you are creating water tables, sensory bins for your kids, if you have a sit down meeting quarterly with your family, all of these things 
can be put in your digital portfolio. I can even put your contract in there, a mock contract. Um, you know, if, if, if you really want to get detailed in there. But I, like I was saying, the more the better for your digital resume portfolio. And you know, this is a new day and age, you guys. You know, paper portfolios, you can still have that. I still have mine in a leather, a leather binder and it's bound. And I think that's beautiful. You can give that to them. You can sometimes um, I get a lot of them made from like Staples or Home Depot, I mean, um, Office Depot. And I let the nanny, I let the nanny family keep it. I'm like, here you go. You can keep this. Um, but this is an easier, it, we're, we're just in a new time and this is where it's at right now. So um, if you guys have any questions for me, I'd love to answer them. <laughs> you, got to mute. you can unmute yourself if you want to ask a question. I just want to say, Monique, absolutely beautiful. I have a, a digital um, resume and portfolio, but it's not as pretty as yours. And I, <laughs> I just want to say it's absolutely beautiful and I love your work. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And Ashley's, this was a really interesting situation. She was in a bind. Um, she knew that she wanted to find a new nanny position and she showed me her resume and she said, you know what? Like I, she gave me pieces of her resume um, and it, was, it didn't have any information on there. And I said, you know what, let's go back. Let's go back to your old employers. Let's get those letters of recommendation. So I had her contact all of her old families and say, hey, can you give me a letter of recommendation? She actually has a letter of recommendation page on there as well. I don't have that shown because, because of privacy, um, but there's a beautiful letter of recommendation page that she has. Um, so I really, really customize it. I also had uh, a nanny that was a, went into, she was a therapist before and she also did social work. And that is wonderful. I had an entire beautiful page of just social work and everything that she's done. Um, so I really customize it. I wish I could show you another one because um, I've, I've, at this point, I feel like I've done in the nanny industry just in 2020 alone so many people contacted me over 20 digital portfolio resumes and they were all so much fun to do um because everyone is different everyone is different but she said that she ha she now has a new job and she has the best job nanny position that she ever had and she says it's because of her digital portfolio she actually had people like bidding on her um, which was amazing. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, like what's going on here? Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of Ashley and her pictures. So she didn't have a lot of money at the time. I, I can do this for someone. She's in San, San Diego. I'm in Chicago, Illinois. She, I went on Facebook and went to a photography group. There are so many photographers on Facebook and they need a portfolio for themselves. So they're willing to take pictures of, of people for free just so they can build their portfolio. Don't be scared to venture out and look for different ways to make yourself shine. So what I did for her, I went on a Facebook San Diego photography group and I said, hey, I have a nanny who needs professional pictures taken for her job. Um, you can use these, for, it's in-kind services, you know, we're bartering here. You can have these and put them in your portfolio and then she will use them. And I set it up, they met in the park. I've never, I've never even met Ashley and I never met the, the photographer, but I set them up and they met in the park and they have beautiful professional photos. And actually Ashley's photo won an award for that photographer. So it really worked out for both of them. Yeah. Sarah, you have a question? Yeah, just Miss Monique, this is really beautiful. I've never seen a resume like this in my academic world as a parent or anything. I just, I, I think these are such beautiful, impressive options for nannies. And you sort of answered my question. And that was like, what has been the parent response around receiving these? I mean, my thought would be, you know, you've taken so much time and effort to present yourself in this really professional, innovative way 
that's going to translate to some really great quality care and, and a great working relationship. So I just wondered if there's any more kind of parent feedback on, on seeing what you're doing. Well, I believe about, I, I would say about half of the nannies that I made resumes for got their dream their dream job, like their absolute dream job. They were so happy. Um, and they, they, Ashley actually moved, she left San Diego and she moved to Las Vegas and found her dream job. It was amazing. Um, I've also done uh, digital portfolios for people in the UK as well. Um, and that was so much fun. That was absolutely lovely. Uh, I. Uh, I worked with some Norland nannies. I mean, you know, that's the, that's the creme de la creme right there. So <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, this is, this is amazing. This is so much fun. Um, so I, I really try to customize it and make it so, so beautiful and to kind of just fit what you are. Like that was, that is Ashley, that resume was Ashley. But if you look, I've done a Manny and his was completely different. Um, his style was a little bit more crisp. It was navy and black. Um, his uh, his video was definitely different. He had completely different experiences, and he also had professional pictures done. I had I had set up the professional pictures for him as well, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yes, the, he's he's had a great great response as well. I'm. I'm so excited. And then for the lawyer and the accountant, um, I, I I got somebody a job uh, working in government uh, for in, in Washington D.C. So that was really fun to do as well. So I'm I'm really happy to help everyone. Um, the turnaround time, I, I mean, I used to knock them out pretty quickly with everything that's going on with Nanny Miss Monique now. Um, it. It, it takes a little bit longer because I'm working with publishing companies um, now reviewing books. So I have um, Kane Miller Publishing Company, Schiffer, and Sound True right now. So I get a box of books every week that I review. So it, I would say the turnaround time at this point would be anywhere to three to four weeks. And th by the time you send me all of your information, that is when I begin working on it. It's easier when I get one huge file of everything that you've ever done. Um, if you have things that already look beautiful, like if you've, writ you've written um, you know, your cover letter already and it looks great, what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna cut and paste that, but I am gonna customly make every, um, you know, everything on that digital resume, so everything that you saw in there, I had to make from scratch. So that's where it comes in. It, it takes a very, very long time to do that. Um, so when I know how much information I have for your resume, then I can start building and then I can custom make that for you. Do you have a company or you just go with Nanny Miss Monique and everything and you can um, put all of your information in the chat? For everyone to oh, receive absolutely. as well. So you can find me on my website, nannymissmonique.com. Um, and you can also find me on Instagram at Nanny Miss Monique and on Facebook as Miss Monique. Um, so those are the handles. I will definitely put that down. Um, if you guys have any questions for me at all, I have just done promotional videos. So if you go on my website right now, what you will see is promotional videos that I've done for nannies. Um, I've worked with Thatty, Nanny Thatty, um, and I've made her custom videos. I've made videos for Clearly Nanny. Um, I've also made videos for Nanny Buddy in the UK, um, as well as many, many other videos. I, I have so many now. Um, and, and when people send them in, I can make 15 second, 30 second, and 59 second videos. Those are your options for the videos for just promotional videos. And if you are a nanny and you're like, hey, I already have a beautiful resume. I just want that video. You can get a video. I will get the QR. I'll make the video for you. Write the script, find the images. Um, hopefully you have pictures of yourself. If not, we will try to work that out and get that set up for you. And uh, I'll make that video and do the voiceover as well. 
And yeah, that, and, and that I could just do that separate part or I can just do your separate resume. Um, I recently had a nanny who didn't want a video. She just wanted a digital portfolio and then she wanted a link for someone to go to her Instagram. And I thought that was really interesting because her Instagram page was so beautiful and it showed every single project that she had ever done. So I just said, if you wanna see more information, check me out on my Instagram and the link was right there and the family can just click on the link and it sends them right over to the Instagram page. So we can basically send the family anywhere you would like. So the hopeful, the promotional Digital. video, mm -hmm. the turnaround for the promotional video is how long? The promotional, um, time for the video, once I've gotten all the information that you need is a two week turnaround for the actual digital portfolio with res like the resume portfolio with the video, that is like a three to four week turnaround. Okay, mm -hmm. that's and great. Ms. Monique, um, what would be the price range for something like this? So the price range starts anywhere from $250 to $500 okay. and I think I think that's fair. Um, I've researched lots of nanny, not res just resume services all over the country. And a lot of them are starting at $500 and they go all the way up to like two grand. So um, for nannies, I'm, you know, I, I think this is a, a, a good range. Price Completely range. fair. I mean, you're a quality product for sure. I think what you're doing is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Does anyone else have any questions? So I just wanna say thank you so much, Ms. Monique, for that presentation. Um, I've seen your work on Instagram and that's why I thought like, I just give a wider platform because I know a lot of people was asking in like some of the other NCSs group and I just wanted um, to give you that platform to share that, I know.